Hello, I'm Patricia, and welcome to my channel. My channel is about Twin Flame Ascension, which is ascension, the symptoms you can feel in it, healing, maintaining, preventing, and loving. How are you today? Thank you for watching. If my channel is new to you, please like and subscribe. So let's get into it. In this video, I'm going to talk in a little bit expansion, a little bit more about your mental side. Now, I want to help people get past the word mindful, mindfulness, okay? Which really means be aware, like pay attention, okay? But we actually don't always use just our mind, which, you know, we are not using just our frontal lobe, for example. You have your side that you present to the world, and that part of you takes in a lot. But there's also parts of you that do need to upgrade and detach. How does that happen? And hence, what you wind up having happen, particularly with men, is that the mind starts to go in different directions. Now, that doesn't always mean people are losing their minds, but there are things that you can experience and feel that you may not consider have to do with your mental body. First of all, there are levels of your mental body. There's like three levels for physical living, and some are just, um, you know, kind of generalize it. You have kind of your day in and day out. You have a part of you that can access much higher, which people do use, but you have a part beyond that, which is sort of like your super intelligence. Some people do that. Sometimes it comes through in flashes for them. How would you like to be a person where that can happen for you more frequently than not frequently? Where you gain insights, you have flashes, even inventions. This is a part of people that they use to make or invent something, create something, invent something. Okay? And there are ways that that happens for you that are, you know, kind of vary from person to person. It could be given with, you know, imagery that they see, dream time, and also uh, something called automatic writing, where you feel inspired and you feel like you just have to write down stuff and it, it really flows. Okay, it's a little different than being an author where, you know, you get writer's block sometimes and then you write. The next thing um, that has to do with your mental emotional body, but particularly the mental body, is a real big one for people. Your sleep, your sleep cycles. This is going to be affecting men quite a bit. And here I am talking about men in ascension and how it affects them and what are some of the things that you can experience, what are some sometimes the symptoms of it, and offering you my things that I teach and learn and help you to integrate and get reconnected to. So the first thing with your sleep is the quality of your dreams. You may notice that the quality of your dreams shifts, changes, the amount of sleep that you get changes, the amount of well-being that you feel can shift. You can feel anxious, nervous, sleep deprived. You can experience sleep disruptions. You can experience things that happen at the same time every night. Every night it's at 3 o'clock in the morning. Every night or some other time that it happens at. You can have nightmares. And this is very hard for people to have a nightmare and then get up and go take care of their responsibilities, such as going to work, driving in traffic. And if you're not getting enough sleep to begin with, this can really take a toll on your mind. It can take a toll on your mental capacity, your ability to be quick, not just a quick thinker, but a quick learner, a quick interactor, quick-witted, picking up on jokes and humor. Um, picking up on the nuances of life, you start feeling like really deprived of that and that you're losing it. You can also experience something that feels like somehow your brain is numbing out. You're just like dumber. You're dumbed down. You're not quite as sharp as you once were. And yeah, brain fog. 
you can experience a form of brain fog. Now, while some of that can be attributable to hormones and age or even senility, strokes, head traumas, a fair amount of people will go through it as part of their ascension symptoms and their ascension trajectory, particularly should they be doing certain things. Now, if you are doing certain things, such as watching a lot of videos, you're knocking on the door, you're seeking, okay? If you have already had one activation for your first stage, then yeah, you, you somehow are knocking on the door at the soul level and it's already on, okay? There's no going back. But how do you willingly and easily, voluntarily start doing the work that you need in order to upgrade yourself, find your sense of well-being, not only go back to sleep, which is critical, because sleep deprivation will take a toll on other parts of you. How do you get to those lucid levels of dreaming and envisioning and creating and frankly, love making that you truly need and is your a part of you? It's a part of you. So it's like having like part of you where the tank is not getting filled and yet you sense I'm not being fulfilled. I'm not filling up. There's something lacking. There's something missing. It's not really my mind because I don't really have a sense of lack. I have things in my life, but somehow this is nagging at me that I really need something. Then please come and learn from me. Learn my twin flame modality. Do the work. Let me help you reconnect and integrate the part of you that you need for your new level. Okay, there is a brand new level. What about other things you can experience from your mental body? Well, there's something that people do have happen, and it's somewhat of a phenomenon. It's sort of um, what I would call phantom noises. It's like people that work in a busy office, and the phones are ringing off the hook, and there's just a lot of frenetic activity. Then they get to a quiet space. They will have... Oral, meaning the ear, aural, A-U-R-A-L, not of the mouth, hallucinations where they still think they're hearing phones ring. This is a little bit like being in an echo chamber where despite where you are, you're in a quiet space, you're still processing out what has been your normal. <clears throat> now, what if that's other things from past lives? Explosions traumas, um, things breaking, the sound of a fire, like a big one, like a forest fire, the sound of a stampede of animals, the sound of some uh, terrible crash, okay? These kinds of things traumatize people, and yet they are tied in with the significant structures that you have that are connected to your sleep, your sleep levels, the old levels, not to the new level you need to get to, which is what I help you with. Ear noises. And yes, some of the internal structures that are connected to your senses, picking up on things that just aren't there. Going to sleep and seeing things where you have your eyes closed and you just see things. You see your ex, you see your ex-wife, you see some ex-girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever it may be. You see some boss that antagonized you. What is that all about? This is what I help you with so that those people are literally erased out of the hard drive, archived where they need to be, and gone. Nightmares. Okay. Now, this is, this is something that you should do. Please stop watching the news and the media. I think by now we're all sort of wise to them that we know that some stuff is inflated. Hey, listen. If people aren't watching, they're not making sales, they can't make advertising sales, okay? As much as you may want to buy things, it doesn't have to be at your expense where, you know, they're upkeeping fears, and I don't want to get off onto a tangent. They got their jobs, that's how they're making their money. Do yourself a favor and click off, you know? Click off of the media that loops this stuff around. It's one thing to see at one time. But if you keep looking around, you know, it's like, why are you drawn to tragic things? 
Okay, that's going to stay embedded in you. And that is a choice. And I say choose not to and work with me to find the way to erase it, clear it, get it out, get you healed. Some of it may be so repetitive you really relate to it, you know. It can trigger phobias in people as well. Do you need that? No, you don't need that. So the mental body part of you does have a much higher function than just thinking or reasoning or helping you at work or, you know, helping you, you know, calculate how to double a recipe or something like that. There is much, much more. It needs to be connected to your high heart. You need your 5D heart shield in place, especially if you're going to go back to work with your much higher intelligence being accessed to you. Yeah, you want to have that protection around you without even a thought. That is what I help you to integrate. That is a part of your new twin flame body blueprint so that you're protecting each other, you and your other half connected, even despite across the miles, no matter who you think it is, it's going to hit the right person. So please look at the links below if you would like a one-on-one -on -one session or join my class, open your chakras and start at the beginning. It's going on now and the link is below. Thank you so much. Have a good day. Bye.